In order to solve systems of equations, uh, we need to do one of three different things. And typically it's really just one of two things. We're going to do the elimination method or the substitution method. Now there is a graphing method as well, but it's a little bit more difficult to see if you're using a graphing calculator. And sometimes your answers will not always be a pretty whole number or uh, integer. It could be a decimal or a fraction number, so we got to see more so with elimination or substitution. So I'm going to give you an example here. 7x plus 4y equals 2, and that's one equation, and the other one will be this. Now, like I said, there are two different methods to uh, solving systems of equations, elimination and substitution. And there's typically ways you can figure it out uh, or figure out which method might be the easiest to use. If you have the same uh, coefficients or, you know, just co yeah, like the same coefficients or whatever, or uh, you don't have a variable that's by itself, then it might be best to use elimination. Now, here we have a 4y, and on the bottom one we have a 4y. That means for elimination, we, we want to cancel out um, a term. And we, we don't want to cancel out the, the variable y. But we can't cancel them out yet, because we're going to do something called a linear combination, which is adding our, adding our uh, linear equations together. But before we want to do that, we're going to multiply this entire bottom equation by negative 1, okay? If we multiply the entire bottom equation by negative 1, then we will have a negative 4y here that will cancel out with our positive 4y there. So I'm going to rewrite this, 7x plus 4y equals 2, and now I'm going to multiply my negative 1 by everything inside of the parentheses, and it gives me 9x minus 4y equals 30. Now, to do linear combination, you're just going to add x's together, add your y's together, and add your constants together. Okay? So 7x plus 9x equals 16x. All right. Um, negative 4y plus positive 4y is a 0y, and really you don't even have to write 0y, you just, you know, it, they cancel out, they go away. All right, and that leaves you with 32. 2 plus 3, 30 is 32. Now to get x by itself, it's multiplied to the 16, so you're going to divide 16 on both sides, that's inverse operation. The 16's cancel, and it leaves you with x equals... 16 over 32, if you put in a calculator, is a x equals 2. So we found out what our x value is. Now we're going to take our x value and just put it into one of our equations. It could be either one uh, in either iteration. I'm putting it into 7x um, plus 4y equals 2. So I'm going to put it in 7 times 2 plus 4y equals 2. Okay, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 4y equals 2. Subtract 14 from both sides. And now I'm left with a, cancel, cancel. 4y equals negative 12. Divide 4 on both sides. And you're left with, cancel, cancel. y equals tw negative 12 divided by 4, which is a negative 3. So y equals negative 3 is that. Now, some teachers actually want you to uh, put this answer in a ordered pair. So you would put it as open parentheses 2, comma, negative 3, close parentheses, and that will be your ordered pair as a solution for your systems of equations.